Hey guys, welcome to the video. Go to settings, roles. Um, there's the five predefined again, and we'll do new role. So here is from the screenshot, you can see all five. Um, I think I'm gonna give inheritance of uh, power again, name. Um, let's just do something uh, conventional. I'll say um, power uh, with extra. Um, that just tells me that this role is gonna be a power user inheritance with extra capabilities that will probably be something under uh, admin capabilities. Moving into capabilities, this is where I said you can select from the very, very long list of capabilities. Since I selected power user, some of them are already inherited. Um, I'll just go ahead and select a couple here. So additional capabilities um, you can select from here. Indexes, this is where you can set um, included or default checkboxes um, to what the user has access to for index data. So I'll say that they can have access to all non-internal and internal. And then this column here is where you can select what index uh, you want the user to search if they don't define an index by default. So I will select main um, for that, just in case if they don't define an index when they search, they'll just default to main. And here, this is where we're talking about the restrictions. I'm not going to add any restrictions here, but you can definitely um, restrict the user to do certain searches um, based off of maybe you don't want them to be able to search certain uh, data within your environment. You would set that here. And then resources, as I mentioned, um, this is where you can define the app that they launch into. Um, if you don't want it to be the regular default, which is probably launcher, you can set them just right to go right into search and reporting, stuff like that. Search job limit, um, how many jobs can they run uh, at the same time? Again, maybe you wanna tweak these if you have a, a user that really needs to look at a lot of data or they have a lot of knowledge objects. And this is again here where I was talking about um, disk space limit, um, you can change this to any value you like. Whatever is applicable um, for that use case, for that user, you can set here, create. And now you can see it's displayed here, um, power with extra. So if we go back into settings and users, and we add a new user, you'll see that power with extra is a custom role that we, that we created just now that you can assign to a new user uh, that you create in Splunk. So that's kind of how you would use a custom role to then create a new user with that custom role predefined.